Let's go back to this idea that leadership is influence. Um, we have, we are all leaders in, in all parts of our life, but we are leaders by name in some part of our life, whether it be at our household or in a, you know, a, a group at church or at school or, um, or at work or with friends. There's uh you know, there's, there's every person in the world is expected to lead somewhere. And we all have the power to do it by being someone who recognizes the responsibility of having influence. Once you have that as like a core understanding you can't look yourself in the mirror and be honest and say, I'm only going to have tough conversations with people who are below me on the food chain. Mm. Um, because that would be, uh, you know, uh, what I would call a cognitive dissonance to the agreement or alignment that you have influence ability in all directions. It is my responsibility to speak up and influence above me, around me, diagonally from me in life and at work and below me. Uh, without a whole lot of permissionable regard for following an org chart. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I like to describe this with a visual that's like, you've got layers of people in an org chart and in most traditional companies, politics requires you go up, over and down to have a conversation. Uh, at Heartland, like that's the kind of thing that will get you fired almost. Like that's ridiculous. That takes so much time and bureaucracy. Just go talk to the person, have a conversation. Productivity matters enough that we don't need to worry about the politics and the bureaucracy. And if you're choosing to lead in the way of going up and around, you're choosing to ignore a direct opportunity to influence another person for a better outcome wow. and to seek to understand their perspective in the process. So when we think about 360 leadership uh, at the business specifically, we, we ask all of our people to recognize the responsibility that they have by being a member of our culture with this as one of our tenets and what that influence comes with the responsibility of and recognizing that we're going to respectfully communicate with people. We're going to follow those cultural guidelines, but we're not going to allow kind of predetermined rules to associate who we influence and who we don't. Oh, that's really good. And when I think about my best people, uh, the, the individuals in our organization who have the most, um, uh, I don't know, they think the biggest and they create the most change. They're the ones who aren't, aren't worried about my title or your title when they have a conversation. Mm -hmm. They're just talking. They're explaining what they're seeing, they're sharing their perspective, yeah. and they're recognizing this is how they can influence up. And when I see the people struggling the most to achieve what they set out to achieve, it's usually because they either aren't trying or they aren't recognizing that the ways they're trying aren't working in influencing around and above them. Mm. We get so much more capacity of our own output if we influence around and above than if we influence below. And yet, Cultural norms require us to think leading is only something you get with a title to push ideas and thought down. <laughs>